Saludo a toda la banda de YouTube, bienvenidos a la simulación de Canal 49 eh, Estrenando sudadera, estrenando gorra directamente del Levi's Stadium <risa> Todavía sigo feliz con la sonrisa de oreja a oreja Espero que ya hayan visto mi programa el día de ayer Donde narré toda mi experiencia en San Francisco este... ah, Pero ya me tengo que bajar del hype y vamos Como espero que lo haga el equipo y vamos a Centrarnos en el siguiente reto. Aquí se oye ruido porque anda aquí en el Floki. Del atoso mordiendo su, su botella de plástico que tanto le gusta, que tanto ama. Pero bueno, vamos a jugar el juego contra los Cleveland Browns. Semana 6 de la NFL. Este, vamos por ese 6-0. Pero los Browns que traen una gran defensa. Una gran defensa de verdad. Permiten muy pocos puntos. La mejor contra la corrida. De las mejores contra el pase. Este... Vamos a ver. Alex guión bajo toca. cap 7. Miren el Alex Cap, aquí anda. Dice, Buena noche, mi estimado. Qué milagroso. Bueno, hermano, aquí anda, hermano. Cumpliendo con los deberes y cumpliendo con el canal. Ya subí hace ratito el canal 49. No sé si ya lo vieron. Este, los Twitcheros. Estoy hablando con los Twitcheros el día de hoy viernes. Pero para los de sábado aquí en YouTube pues ya lo vieron ayer. Y pues aquí cumpliendo con la simulación como tiene que ser. Que semana tras semana nos toca los Browns. Y vamos a rifarnos, mi queridísimo Alex Cap. A ver qué tal. Alex guión bajo cap 7. Dice, si sí, ya lo vi. Qué chido, hermano. ¿Cómo lo viste? Te latió. Espero haberles podido transmitir un poco de mi experiencia eh, con mi narración, con mis, mis imágenes. Este, la neta es que y, y seguramente se quedan corto. Más bien se queda corto de acuerdo a todo lo que yo viví. La neta es que fue una cosa de veras impresionante. Fue una cosa de veras maravillosa. Este, Alex guión bajo cap sin 7. palabras. Dice. ¿Qué problema hay con el Twitch? No está notificando. No lo sé, hermano. No, 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 no sé qué, qué problema haya con la notificación. Eh, checa las propiedades. ¿Propiedades de qué? De la capturadora, es que se ve solo la... ¿De la capturadora? Ajá. Ah, es que no se ve... A ver. El juego. <coughs> capturadora. En la... Propiedades. Activa la y desactiva. ¿Interfaz de sonido y cuál? No, no, no. Alex guión bajo cap 7. Dice. Si es una chulada el gran recinto con el templo de los dioses. Ahí está. Ok. Un gran recinto. Ya, ya está ahí. Es que no se veía. Ya me estaba. Ya vino aquí me está para decirme. Ahí está. Sí. Una chulada el gran recinto con el templo de los dioses. Qué No sé si tú ya fuiste. No sé si tú ya fuiste a Levi, pero es una chulada la neta. Pero cuando tienes la Creo que cuento que no sepa si ya fuiste si no fuiste si no fuiste si no fuiste si no fuiste vamos a empezar pateando contra los Browns este no sé por qué no estaba explicando Twitch algo me aparece ahí cuando empiezo la tradición que dice que rompe la actualización porque incluso siempre me aparece ahí sigue apareciendo el título de Fortnite contra ellos en CNT Championship ya no me aparece de Gonzalez Alex guión bajo cap 7 dice yo fui el año pasado para armarme el outfit para el partido de noviembre de acá en México. No fuiste a comprar merca nomás, pero ya sigo a ver juegos, mi Alex, cuéntamelo todo. Sean Watson, te parece que no va a jugar. No va a jugar con el Sainz. Queremos, nosotros moremos también. Lo dijimos con el Sainz. Lo dijimos con el Sainz. Lo dijimos con el Sainz. First play from scrimmage, Watson going to throw it. He's going to drop this one down for Chubb. And he's going to drop following a pickup of seven, past the 30 to the 32. Well, this defense for the Niners, they were very good in the win over Dallas a week ago. And the big difference in the ball game, their ability to force turnovers, three of them in fact. Being able to take the ball away, give it back to their offense. Perdonarán, perdonarán la dos y enfermo. Watson, off play action. Drops it off for Chubb. And this will be stopped at the 44. That one good for seven yards. Now second and three. Out of the gun, Watson. He's the hard one. He can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. Eric Armstead. 
Alex guión bajo cap 7 Dice Fui recién lo terminaron Me hubiera gustado más ir a Clandestic Pero ya no se pudo Y sí, no, a mí no me hubiera encantado ir al Clandestic Park No se pudo Es mi narración, lo platico No, la neta es que me llevó el buen ya de la vez que cómo era el, 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 cómo es donde era el grande sí que ahora es una unidad me cuenta que es para gente pues, Alex guión bajo cap 7 Dice Sí que triste que nos manda el güey Shanahan Now Samuel Dos tres yardas, cuatro yardas, segunda y seis. Jeremiah Wusu Koromoa on the tackle. Now a second and six. Purdy But I think if you get toward mid-November, the Thanksgiving time and you're still doing this, Turno de that's when things start Nick to get real for a while. 3-0, señores, 3-0. Es un regalito de los Browns. Malos, dos malos pases de Curry, pero eso no va a pasar. Eso nada más está pasando aquí. Eso nada más está pasando. So he's been automatic to this point of the season, and he connects on the field goal there. And what a luxury it is to have a kicker you can depend upon, partner, because he hasn't missed all year long. Converts on that one as well. And kudos to you. You didn't jinx him. Grant, he will not return it. Alex Guión bajo cap 7. Dice. Está midiendo al enemigo. Dale chance ahorita se recupera. Se está confiando. Se está confiando. Oh, there's no doubt about that. Even if you're coming off of a loss as they did. The open week is exactly what you need after you kind of get over it a little bit, right? Rest up the mind, rest up the body, get yourself ready to go. And they have to be eager. And he's able to get this to the 40-yard line before he's out of bounds. So the big play moves him all the way across midfield to the 40 now for first and 10. Here's Watson. And there is Amari Cooper, his first catch. And give him six yards here as he stopped near the 35 at the 34. And from the 34, here's second and four. Alex Guión bajo cap 7. Dice. Watson no debería estar ahí jugando. Está lesionado y para este partido no creo que esté presente. Si Watson no va a estar ahí jugando, está aquí. Pero pues es que aquí yo no puedo modificar los rockets, amigo. Otro fútbol de Watson. Tráfico al centro. Y mi L. Vamos con Camarón. Mi R1. Mi R1. Mi R1. Mi R1. Mi Here's the pro bowler, Christian McCaffrey. Bien, bien, siguiendo los huecos, bien. He'll get a nice yarditas. chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. Bien, muy buena defensa de los Browns, tengo que decirlo. Se siente. They stay on the ground, McCaffrey again. Fighting through, and he's got space. Castigo, no puede ser, un borra sonrisas, creo. 45 before being tackled. Chee. <laughs> 
Yeah, you he no. was trying to clear the way, the big fullback. Instead, he gets a hole. And you don't see that very often on running plays from those guys because usually they're the lead blocker. Normally, when he gets caught, it's in a passing situation. Now they face a second and long following the holding penalty. Here's Purdy. They'll set up the screen to McCaffrey. Oh. Nothing on the screen at that time. Now it's third down. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. What do they have for this? Third and 11. Play action, and now here's Purdy to throw it. He's got his target. That's complete. And they yeah. get well across yeah. midfield yeah. down to the 40 before it's all said and done. Better than a 30-yard gain as we wind down towards 30 seconds left in the quarter. That's just flat out a beautiful throw right there. It was a rope. That's maybe the speed you would see on a slant, but he threw it Alex Dion va a soltar 7. Eso. Dice. Buena lectura. Gracias, Alex. Gracias, Alex. That play doesn't happen. He had to fire it in there, and he did it. 3-0, nada para nadie todavía. 3-0, nada para nadie todavía. Three nothing after one on EA Sports. The 49ers with the football here to begin the second quarter. Ball on the 35. Here comes second and five. As they've got it as we resume action. the shotgun to McCaffrey and forget about finding a lane he barely had time to look up before he was planted in the backfield that's going to go down as a loss of five and it brings up third down they went with the run pass option and I don't know if the option really mattered there because the defense was ready so many times you put the defense at a disadvantage because you have those multiple options but when they read their keys and play it correctly sometimes the result goes in their favor yeah, yeah. he's going to get this down near the 20 yard line. McKittle's got his first catch, and it's also a first down. So many times in my career, I've heard coaches talk about completions are one thing, but as long as we're there at the catch and we get guys on the ground, we can live with that. But if you're going to give up 10, 12, 15 yards after the catch, then your defense is going to be in a lot of trouble. <laughs> and this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Second down and a yard. McCaffrey running up the middle. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the five at the six. That play gets him six yards and sets them up with a first and goal. Primera y gol, señores. En la yarda. Cinco, seis de los Browns. They'll try to run with McCaffrey. Oh. A little bit of space there takes it inside the five. Alex Dion bajo cap siete. Dice. Platicando con mi hermano comentaba que Perdi está mostrando muchas habilidades que se esperaban de otros QB y es el que más centrado se ve en sus lecturas es muy rápido en detectar cómo está plantada la defensa. Tiene toda la razón tu hermano y tú. Eh, Purdy está haciendo lo que se esperaba de Chad Wilson, lo que se esperaba de Justin Fields, lo que se esperaba de Troy Lance, lo que se esperaba de Mark Jones. No, hoy estaba leyendo, estaba viendo hace rato un video de Shannon Sharp. Bueno, Shannon Sharp dice que LeBron es mejor que Jordan, ya desde ahí estamos mal. Pero el señor Shannon Sharp dice que, que Brock Purdy es, tiene gracias, que es un coreback gracias al sistema de Shannon que si le quitamos Jake a Dibu, a Kiro, a McCaffrey, a Kiro, pues no sería nada. Y es una de las It's opiniones más estúpidas que he escuchado. Porque es como si dijéramos, ay, pues quítale a Mahomes, a Pacheco, y a Kelsey, y a todas sus armas. Pues obviamente tampoco haría mucho Mahomes. Todos los corebacks son resultado del sistema. Pues, Alex guión bajo cap 7. Dice, <coughs> concuerdo contigo. 
todos estos corebacks que, que, que intentan improvisar las jugadas y que se la avientan bien este, Lamar Jackson, terminan fracasando. Todos se tienen que cuadrar con el sistema. Hasta Montana se tenía que cuadrar con el sistema todos, y saberlo ejecutar. Hasta bueno, Tom Brady que no es tanto de emoción, tenía que cuadrarse al sistema a Tom Brady para que se le reconociera como un gran coreback que iba a dos o tres temporadas. Mientras Purdy vaya ganando, valen gorro todas las estadísticas. La estadística más importante es ganar partidos. Purdy gana partidos. Y juega muy bien, tiene unos números excelentes. Entonces, ¿por qué Garoppolo no lo pudo hacer? Entonces, ¿por qué Federer no lo pudo hacer? Con el mismo sistema. No me vengan con cosas. ¡Ay, llévatela! ¡Ay, no puede ser! ¡Trilo! Yes, sir. How about an out of boy there on first down? Got his hand in and knocked it away. Here's second and ten. Now it's Watson. Flush to his right. And they'll take him down at the 31 Esos son los que improvisan. Estos son los que no son del sistema. Y eso mata. Los que no son del sistema, eso pasa. Watson to throw on third and once. Ahí hago un holding, ahí hago un holding. Yeah, they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Agarrar una bolsa. Todos lo vimos. Jedrick Wills, former first round pick, guilty there. And this third down looking very tough after the holding penalty. Third and long. Now Watson. Ahí está. Fred Warner lo puse de espía y ahí está. Credit the sack to Fred Warner. This offense continues to shoot themselves in the foot. And here, another sack. All game long, we've seen missed assignments, which have led to turnovers, sacks. This group has not played well at all here in the first half. Si sí, Brock Purdy va a llegar a ser coreback histórico, o si va a llegar a ser considerado el equipo, la neta es lo que menos le interesa mientras ganemos partidos. Pongan el que sea. Y está fielded en el 34. Oh, regresando en el segundo cuarto. 10 0 ahí vamos, ahí vamos, poco a poquito. Coming up at halftime, I'll go from one personality, that's you, Charles Davis, to another one in Orlando, the coach. He'll have stats and scores from around the NFL. You and Jonathan Coachman both larger than life. No doubt about it. But you're stuck with me in this booth, oh. <laughs> yes, and he's miles away and smiling. And happy. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. He did have the touchdown run earlier, but not a heck of a lot more than that throughout this game. No, not at all. In fact, I would say that this defense has done as good of a job on him as they have on any runner in recent memory. Now left side, a completion to his tight end. Alex Guión bajo cap 7. Dice. Claro. Algo leí donde decían que Shanahan diseñó el juego para Purdy y que por eso es bueno. Pero porque entonces Lance nunca pudo con ese dichoso sistema de Shanahan y no pudo ser tan hábil en las lecturas y es lo que veo en Purdy que es un rápido buena vista periférica para saber dónde están sus receptores y así completar todos los pases. Oh, esa se la sacó de la chistera, casi la arcalabosa. Estoy de acuerdo, hermano, es lo que te digo. O sea, si era el sistema, Lance tiene muchísimo más estructura, mejor brazo, más habilidad para su estrategia. ¿Por qué es lo que que alguien me responda a esa pregunta? ¿Por qué Lance no pudo? ¿Por qué tú dices? And Purdy, he's going to shift them around into something else. Back to throw again. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage back at the 22. And quickly, they get to the line. Purdy now to throw. Gets this one to use check. Now San Francisco going to call their second timeout as they'll stop it with 14 seconds to go in this first half. Play number seven now coming up on the drive. Third and five. Check, 
Purdy will set up to throw it here. And he's got McCaffrey open, complete. And so close, he gets it to the Oy. one. Out of bounds right there. They're able to Cassie. convert on third down, and that sets up Alex the first bajo goal. Cap siete. Everything's going right Dice, here in this first half. No me gustan las comparaciones, lead. pero veo en Perdi a otro Drew Breves igual de baja estatura alargando las jugadas y sacando unos here. pases de 10. Really es lo que está haciendo y la neta eso no lo hace cualquiera. El timing que tiene, este, no, 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 no lo tiene cualquiera. Burning, está. Touchdown. Be caught by Ayu. Touchdown. 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 Brandon Ayuk in the final seconds of the first half. And the 49ers will extend their lead here just before the half time. Alex Dion Bajo Cap 7. Dice, buena jugada, buena jugada. I don't know if last year as a rookie if he would have worked through his progressions like he did on that touchdown pass. I think you're right about that. We're seeing him grow up right in front of our eyes because when he went to his primary read, he recognized that they were all over that. So he continued to survey the field, picked up another target, delivered a pass exactly where it needed to be. A very mature play for the second-year quarterback. So time it up for a kickoff here. Five seconds remaining in this first half. And here's Jakeem Grant from his end zone. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been. Oh, God, I'm going to go down to a yard shy of there at the 24. <laughs> He'll take the knee in the final couple seconds. We'll Venga. take by in this first half. So we have reached halftime here with the visiting 49ers on top. We send you down to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, thanks. A few teams starting to rise to the top as it's time to take you around the NFL. Alex Guillermo Bajo, Cap 7. Dice, yo pronóstico para este juego un 35 menos 17. Yo espero que lleguen a los 30. Va a ser difícil porque los Browns de veras traen buena defensa. Eh, si San Francisco le puede hacer más de 30 a los Browns, ya estamos hablando de una máquina aplanadora ofensiva que no te cuento porque lo de los vaqueros fue bestial para una defensa que estaba tan bien plantada como la de los vaqueros. Yo no creo que los cafés logren hacer 17 puntos. Yo creo que se van a quedar en los 10. Y los Niners, entre 20 y 30, yo pronostico. Más o menos por ahí. Pero a este bien pronóstico, a este hay que alcanzar el caso. Alex Guión bajo Cap 7. Dice, fue el típico ya déjalo ya está muerto. Es que de veras, yo, yo, yo sentía que sí, que sí íbamos a ganar y, y, y se sentía como que los vaqueros okay, estaban en el estadio. De alguna manera sabían que eran los no favoritos y que podían perder el juego, pero nadie, ningún dado de otro nos esperamos la paliza. Ahora <risa> ojo que en este juego... Raven McLeod está haciendo muy bien. En este juego es... No, 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 Este... Hay que atacar mucho a sus back, a la zona de backers con, con George Kino. Los cafés tienen problemas para parar las alas cerradas. Play action, now Purdy. He'll get this out right here to McCaffrey. Está. Bien, siempre de receptor He'll wind up getting right about four there on the scramble, and it's second down. Y eso me gusta de Purdy, puse las piernas solamente cuando es ya muy necesario. No se desespera. Up the gut, McCaffrey. And take it down, shy of the 45 at the 46. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Running lanes were at a premium in the first half, but he's able to find some room there, and he's hoping that that's a precursor of a big second half. Purdy to throw it on first down. Buying time to his left. 
and he's taken down. This will be a sack. Miles Garrett. And they're going to get him, and that is sack number six now for him on the year. Another outstanding season by Garrett in 2022. His second year in a row with 16 sacks, tied for second in the league. In just his seventh season, he's almost a virtual lock to become the Browns' career sacks leader. Alex Bion bajo cap 7. Dice, exacto, otro ejemplo de buena lectura y no entra en presión y no se desespera. Tough to do because what they normally will do is run routes that'll pull you out of that spot that they want to get into. That's what we call not taking the cheese, right? Don't go in the trap. But it's you see a guy cutting that in that direction, you tend to go towards him. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Here's Samuel. Yeah, get him down down after a pick up of eight. Eight. Two. <laughs> Looks to me like maybe there's a little attrition setting in with this drive. Because when you see that type of a run, I get the feeling the defense get a little bit tired. And that's the last thing they need, especially when they look up at the scoreboard. Nice stop. Now a battle for the football. It's touchdown. It's a touchdown. Brandon Brandon Ayuk. Que no lleva tantas anotaciones como esperaríamos en la temporada, pero es un caballito de batalla. Alex guión bajo cap 7. Dice, let's go Niners. And this is just an offense that's imposing its will right now. You name it, they're able to do it. If you're the play caller, whatever you want to select is there. You want to run it, you want to throw it, pick a play. Any play, they're rocking and rolling right now. Moody good with the extra point, and the lead is now 24. Here is Wisniewski to boot it away following the touchdown. And this will be a touchback as Grant opts not to return it. Alex Guión bajo cap 7. Dice, sí, es que ya con todos esos playmakers tiene que repartir el juego. Alex Guión bajo cap 7. Dice. Pero seguro pronto se verá más Ayu. Seguramente. Es que todos los juegos se ven. Solo se aparece nada más que no. Fue cuando era receptor. Y esas funciones deberían estar guardando paz. Pero las anotaciones no se tocaron. Y no se It certainly appears that he's been able to get a read on how they've wanted to contain him in this game. He's seen some places where he can beat them in big spots, and right there, he slides in with ease for the first down. Yeah, he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. A good gain again. That's now 31 yards combined on those last two plays. Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move. First and 10. They run it again with Chubb. And this time they were waiting for him as he'll be knocked down before he can get back to the line of scrimmage. The loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. They'll try the air now with Watson. Here's the middle of the team, and it's intercepted. Que iba a caer la intercepción. Tercer balón robado de esta Somos la defensa que más roba balones en la NFL en este momento. Alex Guión bajo cap 7. Dice: Bien. Purdy going to lead the 49ers to the line, first and 10 at their own 24. 
In motion right, Debo. And he'll start by handing this off to McCaffrey. And not much there. Maybe the yard of the 24. They work now on second and nine. <coughs> now Purdy. Man open, that's Debo Samuel. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. This is McCaffrey on the give. And he edges forward, but only gets a pair of yards out of it. And it's second down. Alex guión bajo Scott 7 dice le quedó a de Evo well, he still has some fresh legs. Not the biggest gain we've seen on a scramble, but still, some positive yardage on a play that initially looked like a sure win for the defense. And this offense on third down today, they've been near perfect. Four for five to this point. This is third and seven. Back to throw, Purdy. Work in the middle of the field. Yes, He's got a man complete. Down. And he is going to have a Niners first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And looking to put this game on ice in the fourth quarter, but still not afraid to throw it as they show there. You want to play the game with confidence, and they have a guy who's in control right now. Their trigger guy throwing it, they feel just as confident with him doing that as they would if they tried to run the ball and run the clock out. Can you check? Primero y que pase. No, como fuera. Estaba dentro. But they have been unstoppable this afternoon, Charles. They just went yeah, after them from the start. And pass plays like we just saw, they're continuing their dominance here despite the big lead in the fourth quarter. And that they have in every way. And plays like that across all phases of the game, they've just been effortless for them in this one. And that's what's helped them build such a large lead and allowed them to the smile as this game continues. Alex Cap 7. Dice. Whoa, un pase y si tiene los dos pies dentro hasta acá se vio. Pasesazo, quiero la chinche. Me encanta que lo hagan participar más como uno de los mejores. Second down and six now. This is Samuel. Oh, es algo como todo la llamado tipo. And down inside the 15 he goes. The Niners have the first down on a gain of 11. They don't need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. In motion goes McLeod. He's going to handle it on the touch pass. And a decent gain there as that a la pausa de los minutos. the two-minute warning. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So it's 49er football here as we get you reset. And the scoreboard on their side, they're just looking to melt away these final couple of minutes and put this one in the left-hand column. On second down, McCaffrey. Alex Leon va por cap 7. Dice. Perdi para MVP. Perdi para MVP. Now as he's carried it 13 times. Starting to look like this drive, it may be the final nail in the coffin. Well, this is why you work out so hard, right? This is why you spend all that time in the offseason. This is why you have those OTAs and mini camps for these the, situations. I, that's a near the ground and secure uh. victory. Well, fourth quarter with a three-score lead here, Charles, but they're still going back to the air and looking for more points. Well, with this game well in hand. It's an opportunity for the guys to come off the bench. Alex Guion bajo cap 7. Dice. Se le cayó. No. Horrible la tenía. Yo che caminando. And he will get into the end zone. It's another touchdown. Well, business as usual for them. Well on their way to another victory. Caminando. Llegamos a la cifra de 30. And so far, they haven't met their match. So if you're going to play this team in the future, your mission is clear. You better be ready to play and match their firepower. 
<laughs> now Moody for the PAT. Okay, this one was over a while ago as he gets a handle on the big lead. That one in the books as a 12-play drive. And it ends with a three-yard scoring run. Here is Wisnowski to boot it away following the touchdown. On the return from his end zone is Grant. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. Heading out as a Cleveland offense now as they get set to take over here. Well, they were coming off the extra week of rest, but this team started sluggish and it really didn't get any better from there. And trailing big here in this fourth quarter. Alex Guión bajo cap 7. Dice. Se fueron en blanqueada los Bronx. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Watson now to throw. Escaping the pressure right. He'll get three yards on the scramble there at second down. Brandon, once that one broke down, there were only so many options left for him to take. Fortunately, only first down, so he smartly got the yardage he could get and didn't worry about trying to turn it into a bigger play and end up taking a bigger loss. And get something different going here on second down. Now the Browns will use the first of their three timeouts as the clock will stop with 35 seconds left to go. Now a third and six. Alex Guión bajo cap 7. Dice, planchado. No, esa se la están regalando. Sí, vamos empujando los dos. Trying to cover Cooper there a little too closely. And he's such a tough cover because he runs his route so well. Hard to stay with him and hard to figure out exactly where the break point is. Alex Guión bajo cap 7. Dice, nosotros como flag. Alex guión bajo cap 7 dice perdón era no como flag <laughs> Este, vamos, a, vamos a meter a darnos la que haga una ofensiva, ¿no? Y todo tenemos a... Todo tenemos a... <coughs> a Lance. So good starting field position for him here as they come up first and 10 at the 40. And they'll go on the ground. And the play goes nowhere, losing yardage back near the 40 at the 39. The 49ers now going to use the first of their timeouts. It's just their first, they've got two more to use here in the final stages. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. And so now. Okay. <clears throat> and Darnold wants to throw the football. Oh, he'll take a shot from McCaffrey downfield. And oh. that almost their first INT of the ball game. Had his sights on it, but he couldn't seal the deal. I think it's fairly safe to call this game over, but they're still trying to bomb it downfield and add to their lead. Almost makes you start to feel for the defense and root for them a little bit, too. Throwing here on third down, Darnold, and that's complete to McCaffrey. And he's going to be stopped here at the 43, and that is not near enough to pick up the first. Ahí está, lo vieron en Canal 49, 31 a 6, 49ers sobre los Browns, ya saben que aquí se da Lucín. Pero bueno, hace ocho días me aluciné así, más o menos quedó. Entonces, esperemos que pase algo así el día de mañana. Acá, allá en Cleveland, se fue muy complicado, nos vamos a dar buena defensa. Los Niners en una semana corta, de alguna manera no se desgastaron tanto contra los Cowboys. Espero que se haya podido preparar bien este juego, pero va a estar bueno, se les apoyará a los Niners. 
Aquí the en Canal 49, obviously, los terminamos arrollando 31 a 0. Y yo sigo con la tos, así que, pues bueno, señores, el buen Alex Cap que estuvo aquí, fue el único este, pichero que se reunió esta tarde aquí, esta noche ya. Este, gracias, carnal, gracias a todos. Nos vemos mañana para apoyar a los Niners, ya saben que después del juego plática post-game. Alex guión bajo Cap 7. Adiós YouTube. Dice. Adiós YouTube. Un abrazo a todos. Mucha buena vibra. Alex guión bajo Cap 7. Dice. No hay de qué. No hay de qué. Son más de papa. Ya lo saben, ya lo saben, ya lo saben. No Niners.